Yo, what is up you guys? It's Funko Time over here and in today's video we are going to be going to box lunch today so that we can be picking up the Dragon Ball Z key pin so I'm really excited for that. Not too much, I'm really driving like 20-ish miles just to go to box lunch to pick up this 50 cent pin you guys so I'm really really not excited for it. Anyways, Mr. Owl at Icon Funko Pop has already been released over at the Funko Shop. I don't know if you guys ever secured yours yet. But I had already secured mine, so I'm really excited for that, you guys. Anyways, you guys, we got a long vlog today, so let's get straight into it. Let's go. <sighs> All right, yo, so we made it over to Box Lunch. Let's go see what we got going on. <sighs> let's go see. Let's go see. We got... But this is the new one that just released and it's by Funko so about to cop it Woo! that was quick so we got the merch you guys we are headed back uh, probably we were about to hit out uh, Funko HQ and see uh, what we got going on over there so we got a quite a uh, quite a drive so let's get straight into it all right yo before we start dipping out we about to go check out hot topics so that we can be seeing if we got more funkos in hit her with her jamba juice <laughs> look what i found you guys it's clean i'm about to cop this one right here oh there's nothing a hot topic i had to leave because they were so lame and i just i just had to sniff this guy out right here so oh i'm just so happy i got it Alright you guys, sorry I could not vlog as much as I wanted to over at this mall, but I got the stuff, so I got the merch, and I'm about to head out, probably go out of Funko HQ and see uh, what we got going on over there, and hopefully we don't get any distractions on the road so that we could get there on a timely schedule, but anyways you guys, let's go. <sighs> My apologies you guys. I was not able to record as much as I wanted to over at the mall. Um, anyways, I got the package over the package. I got the merch, you guys. I got the merch from Box Lunch, and they gave it to me in a huge, huge bag. I don't know what for, and I apologize about the lighting when it comes up to this video or how you guys are able to see this picturing. But here it is, you guys. I got the Shinron keychains, you guys. This one looks really, really nice and detailed, and it is by Funko, as you can see. Here is the tag. Here is the bag. This uh, this uh, pop keychain. It was actually not, uh, eight ninety. So the deal was over at Box Lunch. If you bought two, you could get one for free. So I bought two, and I got one more for free, you guys. So I got three Shinron keys, you guys. I'm probably gonna use one for my key set. And probably save the other two for my collection, you guys. I don't know what you guys think about this Shinron uh, Funko Pop key, you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below on what you guys think about it. It comes also with the four-star Dragon Ball. I don't know if you guys are able to see that. There you go. Four-star Dragon Ball. It looks really, really nice and detailed. Um, looks really clean, you guys. I like it. Can I can't complain about it. It looks really, really nice and detailed. We also have another Funko Pop that we had just purchased over at Think Geek, you guys. So we have this Funko Pop that we had just purchased over at Think Geek. I'm really, really excited for this one, you guys, because a lot of people had pre-ordered this online. And I'm glad I, I went over to Think Geek today and see what was their selections that they have. But anyways, you guys, I got the new Pikachu, you guys. This one looks really, really nice and detailed. This is the new version of Pikachu right here. Here's the... Uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys are able to see it. Here is the photo of Pikachu. Here is the back right there. It looks really, really nice and detailed. Here's a the side. There's no, there's no line on the back, as you can see. Um, I don't know why Funko isn't uh, making a line for this uh, F Funko Pop, but I think that they should. This one is not a bobblehead, but it looks. This is a really, really nice figure, you guys. I, now. I have ne all right so you guys I've never opened up a Funko Pop yet until today today will be my first day I opened up my very very first Funko Pop out of the box you guys and why not then Pikachu you guys so we're about to go ahead and open up Pikachu right now so we can see how Pikachu really looks like 
I don't know how you guys be opening up the Funko Pop boxes, so give me some time, okay? Okay. Eight hours later. I am getting Pikachu out of the box, you guys. So this will be my very first Funko that I take out of the box. Oh, this one looks really, really nice and detailed, you guys. Oh! Oh! Woo! Really, really nice and detailed, you guys. Pikachu, he's like the size of my thumb, you guys. There it is. This one looks really, really cute. I like it. I like it. And here's the box, you guys. Like I said, this is my very, very first Funko Pop I had opened in a box, you guys. Why not Pikachu, you guys? And yeah, I'm really, really happy about this. This molding looks super, super fire. I can't believe out of all the times I've been collecting Funko Pops, I've never opened one Funko Pop out of the box, you guys. This will be my first one. I'm really happy I got to open up Pikachu because this one's really, really cute. I like it. I think I might just display it in my car just because it looks really, really nice and detailed. But let me know what you guys think about this Pikachu Funko Pop, you guys. This one looks really, really nice and detailed. Leave a comment down in the section down below on what you guys think about this Funko. Wow. All right, you guys, I got a basket. We are here at Funko HQ, passing Sailor Moon. And all right, you guys, all this Mr. Owls that are still on the front desk, you guys. Wow, so my lady has the Coca-Cola bear that we are about to go pick up. We also have um, the Mr. Owl that had just released today. I'm really excited for it, you guys. I'm so happy that we're about to pick a couple of these up. So we already have the Energizer Bunny, but I want the Flock one, and I don't see it over here because it is a limited edition uh, Funko Pop, but I really, really want that Energizer Flock uh, Bunny, you guys, because I don't... Oh, I really, really want it. That's something that I really need to cop. Oh, baby, look at this. Bigfoot right here. LGBTQ colors. Really, really looks nice and detailed. Um, uh, Polly the Pigeon, we have a couple of them right over here, which looks really, really nice and detailed as well. Um, let's see. We have the Coca-Cola guy. And we're probably gonna pick up someone else, maybe Peter Pez, but we'll see. Um, okay, Mr. Owl, we need to get you. We're gonna get a Mr. Owl, make sure the box is nice and mint and clean, make sure no scuffs on it. So now, boom, number two. Should we pick up icons and add, add icons, or should we just pick up add icons at the moment? Add icons, add icons at the moment, right? Okay, yeah. See, I want the flock bunny, man. Is there any more? <laughs> Yes, it's out already. They, they did a pre, they did the stuff for pre-orders already, but I don't know if, it, if it's out on their shelves yet. But let me go ask. All right. Hi, excuse me. I have a question. Do you guys have the flock bunny, uh, flock energy? Yeah. We're out. What? Yeah, we released it, it really, a couple days ago. And it really sold, huh? It sold out. Wow. So sorry. Periodically, our shipment days are well, Monday I'm, and Thursday. I pre-ordered it already, but I'm just, I pre-ordered some of these already, but I just don't, you know what I mean? No, I understand. Yeah, like yeah. as soon as you see it, you just have to be, and like I, I end up being around the area too, so yeah. like why not, yeah. you know? Yeah, we're sold out of that one, but yeah, you're free to like cancel the order for the other ones and just buy those. But... I appreciate it, thank you so much. Oh, okay, so see, um, good news, love. She said that whatever we pre-ordered online that we have in our basket, we could always cancel it and it could go straight back into your card. What do you think about that? See, that's why I like you, Funko. It's because you guys make good deals like that. Why not? Comic Con ones. If we're gonna collect, if we're gonna collect something out of a con, I'd rather get something from the Comic Con rather than a shared exclusive. Does that make sense? Sh shared exclusives—they're worth something, but don't get me wrong, they're worth I only. I haven't seen this at the store either. Uh, they're over at the Comic Con, but. I don't know. I, I just don't want to be a sticker hunter when it comes out to these these ones. But and I want the Comic Con ones. I don't want the shared exclusive ones. If so, if I were to get something like that, it would probably be the ones from the Comic Con, you guys, because they're worth more. And man, you guys, they got a lot of the Kool Aid Man over here, you guys. So if you guys really need a Kool Aid Man, then make sure you guys hit up that Funko Shop. I don't know why it's saying that it's sold out when they have some literally over at the Everett Shop, you guys. So that's kind of messed up for whoever wants to buy the kool-aid man they literally have it out here in display it's literally right there but 
they are not selling it online and it's saying that it's sold out which is kind of sad because what if people want to buy it you know what i mean and they're not able to secure their their own i kind of want a funko enamel pin but uh we'll see temptations temptations we'll see let's go you guys joker passing by joker and we got a lot more funko pops that we got displayed right over here you guys uh, like i said i'm not going to be going through all of it just because there's just so many funkos you guys it's ridiculous it's crazy you guys i don't know now i really want to start coming out here every week that is my goal you guys to try to come out here every week just to go ahead and check out this funko shop see what we got going on because Funko is surprising when they start releasing things and things start flying out their shelves. Ugh. It's ridiculous, you guys. Created by Funko, you guys. It's called Paka Paka. I don't know if you guys ever tried this game out, but... You need tokens to purchase. You want to play? Oh, it's a gambling game. It's a gambling game, you guys. Check this out. What the heck? I got the munchies, monkey. You want to go to Jollibee next? <laughs> I really, really want to cop this MTV, man, that we got going on right over here. This one looks really, really nice and detailed, you guys. Has the man walking on the MTV. Looks like a spongy MTV. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Funko Pop MTV moon person. And here's the back of the box. So that's really nice and clean. Yeah, you guys. What's that? There's only three of them, so we better not sleep on it. Oh, those look like prototypes, you guys. Oh my goodness. Those look like Funko prototypes that are just getting carried onto to the baskets, uh, conveyor belt, and then it gets pulled out. And wow, you guys, just look at this whole section that we got going on right over here. This literally, this is a spot that you'll see in the front. You got a couple of the um, Freddy Funkos right here getting pulled on the conveyor belt. Really, really looks nice and detailed. It, right here it says, Welcome to Funko Everett, Washington since 1998. Assembly station, you guys. Wow, clean. This is something I had seen over at FYE, but I did not pick up. I do not know why I did not pick this one up. I might have to pick this one up just because it has a sticker, you guys, and I am a sticker variant, especially when it comes out to the Michael Jordan line. I have to get the sticker even though I do not have it. So this is something that I might cop or most likely uh, most likely will cop just because this is something as soon as it goes vaulted, people are going to really, really want this. Wow, check this out, you guys. We got the Super Shogun Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. That one looks really, really nice and big and detailed. Wow, that's a big Boba Fett, you guys. So, wow, 100 bucks, you guys. Let me know if this is something that you guys would cop. 100 bucks, you guys. Wow, this is so huge. Wow, this is something I think I would be able to resell, you guys. I don't know. I would really, really cop that and probably sell this for like 300 or so. Wow, you guys. Babe. This thing is 300 bucks right here. Or no, not 300. It is 100 bucks for this super shotgun right there. Shotguns, 100 bucks right there. And this is something you would be able to sell for 300 bucks, don't you think, love? Just for how big this item is, like, don't you think that you would be able to sell something like this for 300 bucks? I think so, just because how nice and detailed this Boba Fett really is. It is by Funko, so why not? Why would you not sell something like... Wow, you guys. It is 24 inches, um, 60 centimeters, and figure four in the series. So, you guys, um, this is something that I think you... That would be able to resell for at least three bills, you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this big Boba Fett. Wow, you guys. Uh, babe, we need to get we need to get a lot of stickers. 
we need we need we need some Funko Pop stickers or we need some Funko Pop patches so we can be putting over in our jackets. You guys, let me know in the comment section down below if my lady should be buying me more Funko Pop patches and give me more likes. And the more likes I get, the more uh, Funko Pops that my lady's gonna be buying me, you guys, because this is all for you guys right here. Check this section out, you guys. Oh. All oh, the Freddy Funko crowns. They got lockers in here. I wonder whose lockers are these. These are probably some of the employees' lockers, but I don't know, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about these lockers, if it's nice and detailed, you guys. Yeah, all right. We are walking out of here. Bye-bye, Funko. We are out of here, you guys. All right, you guys. We are back at Funko Time HQ, you guys. JK, anyways, you guys. We are about to go ahead and do this review on some of the items that I got and received from the store. You guys, I'm really excited for this. So first things first, we have this box lunch bag that we have received. And literally, you guys, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys already know what I got. I got the Dragon Ball Z Shinron keychain. So I'm really, really happy about that. Here it is. So I got three of them because it was buy two, uh, get one free. Um, or get one item that is $8.90 free. Um, but yeah, you guys, I got three of the Shinron uh, Funko Pop keychains. All right, you guys, so these are the Shinron pins that I got over from Box Lunch, you guys. This looks really, really nice and detailed. So the price on this was $8.90, you guys. And um, if you bought two, then you got the third one free. So it was a pretty much of a steal deal for that, so why not? Why not get three, you know what I mean? It seems heavy and it's too, too big. Um, I'm not a big fan when it comes to heavy things, especially putting heavy things in my pocket. So this uh, Funko Pop keychain um, thing, I would not be using because um, the weight is just too heavy. And I like being light on my feet and I like keeping things very light. So this is something that I'll probably be putting into my collection rather than be using. So yeah, you guys, this is it right here. Let me know in the comment section down below on what you guys think. So we got another package right over here. We got this package over from Think Geek, you guys. And um, yeah, so I was walking across the aisle and like I can't believe I really, like I can't believe I spotted this um, this Funko Pop from the aisle. I knew it was the last one, you guys. So I was really, really happy that I was able to get this last one, you guys. So check this out. Oh, and I know I've shown you guys this earlier on today. So um, this one's really, really nice. I'm really, really happy and stoked that I got this uh, Pikachu Funko Pop. This is one of my very first Funko Pops that I, would, that I had opened up. So this is something that I would never, ever forget. My very first Funko Pop that I had opened, you guys. So I've never opened up a Funko Pop ever. Ever since uh, collecting dra my whole Dragon Ball Z, the Pokemon line, Jollibee line, Michael Jordan line, LeBron James line. I had never opened up a Funko, you guys. So this was my very first Funko Pop that I had got to open up. It was really, really nice. And um, I like it. I, I like the feeling. And I really didn't want to damage the box. And this was the only one. And the reason why I had opened this one up, this one in particular up, is was because I had already pre-ordered one by Galactic Toys. And that one is going to be uh, coming back or coming through in the mail um, sometime soon. So I'll be getting another one. Uh, sometime soon and probably might be selling this one as well. All right, you guys last but not least We have the last bag that I got right over here from Funko HQ you guys I'm really really excited to show you guys on what I got from this bag you guys I'm really really happy that I got a couple of these pops you guys so that I wouldn't be able to worry about it or Sleep on it if they ever went out of stock you guys because majority of these or some of these are limited edition Funko pops you guys So I'm really really happy that I caught this one out Anyways, here's the first one, you guys. We got the Hostess Cupcake. This one really, really looks nice and detailed. I like the details on this. Now, this one is a limited edition, and that's something that I do like about it as well because as soon as this sells out, you are not going to be able to get this anymore. Here's the side photo of the Hostess uh, Cake, and this one really, really looks nice with the picture and everything like that. And wow, I really like the suit that he has on too. Um, the types of paint that they use, the the blue how it doesn't even match with the brown that goes on with the Sosa's cupcake you guys regardless of it it really looks nice and detailed I really like this Funko Pop at icon limited edition Funko Pop hostess cupcake you guys let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Funko Pop this one looks really really nice and detailed wow I like this hostess cupcake Funko Pop we're gonna place that one that right there um, next up we got the Captain Crunch 
cereal guy. So we got the Captain Crunch guy, uh, Crunchitize Me Captain. And right here on the back, we got a couple of the lines that we got for the ad icons. Who do we got in the back? We got um, Jean Lafoot, uh, Captain Crunch, uh, Crunchberry Beast, and the regular Captain Crunch. Um, so I guess there's... Uh, so what I have here is, is pop number 36, and there are three more that I'm going to be missing. We are going to be missing Jean Lafoot, uh, Crunchberry Beast, and Captain Crunch. So um, yeah, you guys... Uh, now we have more ad icons that we got to be looking for especially when it comes to the cereal guy because you know you know my motto we got to catch them all you guys so yeah so here's that one right there for you guys let me know what you guys think about this Funko Pop and this is something I did not notice but wow okay the box looks kind of and eh, no, all the box is alright and eh, the box is alright you guys so I don't even need to worry about that anyways you guys off to the next one you guys number three we got Ah, Twinkie, Hostess. Okay, so we got Hostess, Twinkie, the kid, you guys. So, um, really, really looks nice and detailed like the other pops. Um, Twinkie, the kid, you guys. He has this little rope and his handkerchief around his neck. Blue handkerchief. Now, I don't know if they had, I don't know if they had, um, another Hostess, Twinkie, Funko Pop, you guys. I don't know, um, I think they do. I, I believe they do, but... It doesn't show anything on the back you guys so from what I heard or from what I thought I've seen I thought they had another Twinkie guy with a red handkerchief and I believe it was a Comic-Con edition if I'm not mistaken I don't know I could be wrong I'm most likely wrong you guys this is my first time uh, collecting the ad icon so I wasn't really too sure about this line because I really really slept on this line there are so many of you guys out there who are way ahead of me when it comes when it comes to the ad icons you guys so I'm going to catch them all and I'm going to collect them all I'm going to collect all the comic-con stickered Funko Pops as well you guys so no shared exclusives for the ad icon line so I'm really really happy about that you guys anyways you guys we have the next Funko Pop that we got going on right over here. We have the Coca-Cola Bear, you guys. This one looks really nice and detailed. I like it because I love Coca-Cola, you guys. Who doesn't love cola? I really, really love it. Here's the side of the box. Really, really looks nice. And the box looks so clean, you guys. I really, really like it. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, you guys. But it really looks nice and clean. The Bear, I, I swear, you guys. The Bear... Funko, if you're listening, you need to make a flock version of this cola bear because this one is so fire. I really, really like how you guys presented the, the scarf and how it's so presentable with the cola logo going on right over here and him holding a Coca-Cola bottle. So it really looks nice and it presents the company really, really well. So I really like this pop, you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below on what you guys think about this pop and if I should have gotten another one but this ad icon cola Funko Pop I'm just happy I got it it weighs a lot you guys it weighs so much more than the Pikachu Funko Pop that I had shown you guys earlier but wow this cola bear Funko Pop is really really heavy I like this Funko Pop I think this is one of the heaviest ones that I got in my ad icon collection you guys let me know on what you guys think about this Funko Pop alright so you guys, off to the last, off to the last Funko Pop, you guys. We got uh, Mr. Owl, you guys. This one looks really, really nice and detailed. So this one was released today, and if you guys are watching this today, it got released yesterday. So this one looks really, really nice and detailed. Number sixty-two, Tootsie Roll Funko Pop owl you guys this one really looks nice i like this owl right here he has this yellow lollipop right over here and he has his little um graduation cap on so he, it looks nice you guys i don't know you guys um this is something i did order out from the funko shop i do not know why i went over to funko hq just to grab this funko pop you guys it was an ad icon i don't know why um i got it over in the shop when i re when i had already pre-ordered it but I think I'm going to most likely cancel a couple of my pre-orders that I had already placed because I don't like waiting, you guys. That's the thing with me. If I know I'm able to get it, why wait for it? I'm going to go out there and grab it myself. This one really looks nice and detailed. Let me know in the comment section down below on what you guys think about this Funko Poppy, guys. Really, really looks nice and detailed. 
the Mr. Owl Titty Roll Pop. And this one looks so, so, so clean, you guys. I really like this box. I'm so happy I didn't sleep on it because it is a limited edition, you guys. So there you go, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this Funko Pop. It really looks nice and clean, you guys. Alright you guys, so here it is. This is the whole line that I picked up today, you guys. It's really not much. I, I wish that we could have picked up more. Um, I'm really, really excited. Like I said, I got this Funko Pop Dragon Ball Z keychain pin. I am a, a diehard when it comes to Dragon Ball Z Funko Pops, especially Pop whatever, Pop keychain, Pop Pez, Pop whatever. I'm going to get it. If it's a Funko Pop Dragon Ball Z a theme, I am going to get it. Best believe it, you guys. I am number one when it comes to Dragon Ball Z. Oh, and by the way, do not sleep on um, do not sleep on uh, November fifth, which is today. Actually, you guys, if you guys are watching this video, make sure you guys do not sleep today because today is the release of the other Dragon Ball Z Funko Pop pins that are going to be releasing in the GameStop store, or you can also pre-order those at the store or they might have some of those pins over on the shelves you guys you might have to go in and go scout them out yourselves but yeah you guys i got one of the first pins or one of the first keychains you guys so i'm really really happy about that also we have the ad icon lines that we have going on right here the hostess cake captain crunch twinkie the kid the cola bear and mr owl the tootsie pop we also have Pikachu you guys I couldn't ask for a better day anymore you guys I'm really really happy about this haul that I got going on today anyways you guys if you guys really like that video make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you guys go me a little Yo, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be receiving more of my content you guys anyways you guys take care